Yo, what's good, family? It's your boy, Jay Cash, man. Look, I had a crazy dream, crazy dream this morning, right? And normally, man, I don't even remember my dreams, y'all. Like, I remember vaguely some of them, but this one was, like, very, very, very detailed, and it felt super real. So, I know the Lord want me to come tell y'all. He gave me even more confirmation, because at first I wasn't going to say nothing about it. I was just like, ah, oh, that was a crazy dream, but... I'm going to get straight into it. First, I'm going to tell you I'm not a prophet. I'm not nobody special like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just somebody who loves the Lord, you know what I'm saying, and always looking for his return, always looking, you know what I'm saying, for things to go on in the world so I can just get people's hearts right, right? So didn't even ask for the dream or nothing. It was just random as heck. But so I was um, in my dream. I woke up at like 4 or 5 in the morning like I normally do, right? So... When you go into my bathroom, we the, the toilet area is separate from like the rest of the bathroom. It got its own little door or whatever. So you go into the door, you sit down on the toilet, and we have a big window in there, like a big window leading to the front yard. So you can see the front yard from sitting on the toilet. It sounds weird, but that, that's how the house is designed. It's pretty dope, though. I ain't gonna lie. But uh, so in the dream, I went and sat down, right? Because I was getting ready to use the restroom in the dream. I look to my left, and then in my front yard, there's a big old tree, right? Big old tree. And through the tree, like, the moon is usually all, in real life, the moon is usually always right there to my left. Like, then I can always see it through the tree. So, this time when I sat down, I looked to the left, I saw this red blood moon through the trees. And I'm like, that's crazy. It's a blood moon today? I didn't even know that. Right? So, it was just, like, out of nowhere. I look to the right, and there's, like, a house, like, right, like, right like right in this area and then above is just all sky it's not really trees right there so it's not blocking nothing so in that space in the sky right there i saw this big old huge red blood moon it was like massive right and so i'm like i'm tripping i'm like bro i gotta get my phone out so i got my phone out i got on camera right on my camera because i'm like i gotta see what this is looking like so you know how you can um you know how you can get on camera like this but you can't uh I think y'all can see that, right? Yeah, so I'm on camera, but I didn't take a photo. Like, I was just zooming in. So you know how like you can just zoom in on your camera or whatever, right? So that's what I did. I zoomed in on the moon, the big one, and it was, like, fiery red. It was, like, engulfed in flames, basically. Like, when you zoom in, when you zoom out, it looked normal. When I zoomed in, it was, like, engulfed in flames or whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, snap. So I just got this urge, like, Jesus is coming. You know what I'm saying? And, um... I was like, bro, I got to get on Instagram and tell these people. Like, I got to tell the people. So, I, like, start getting myself together on after, you know, I was using the restroom, got myself together, and I'm about to run out the restroom. And um, I'm starting to get on Instagram. And the, the moon was moving down, like, like this slowly. And by the time I got outside, the moon, like, I couldn't see it no more. And then I woke up. And so, I'm thinking, like, dang, that was a weird dream. That was crazy. Like, I wonder, you know what I'm saying, if the Lord trying to tell me something, right? So I wasn't even going to say nothing, but I was, like, startled a little bit. And when I woke up, I'm like, it's kind of weird. Like, and so I wasn't going to say nothing. And then I was like, okay, so I ended up getting on YouTube, right? And I was just watching this random video. It was just because uh, I'm subscribed to a lot of Christian people to talk about the end times or just talk about stuff in general, like daily life and stuff, whatever is going on in the world. So this one guy had a video. Um, and he was just talking about how there's supposed to be a railroad strike this Friday, right? Meaning, you know, the railroads, uh, they usually have, they usually carry supplies for the stores and little food items and all that kind of stuff. So I guess if there's a railroad strike, then that'll cause like food shortages and it'll cost America like, I think he said two point something billion dollars a day if they go on strike. And so, and so I'm like, dang, that's crazy. And then on this video, this is real life. This morning, on this video, he randomly, randomly recommended a movie called Moonfall. And I'm thinking, like, what? This is random as heck. Like, what, what, what you talking about the moon for? So he said, uh, it's a movie called Moonfall. And it's about this big, big old moon that's like, I don't know if he said on fire, but it's like crashing into Earth. And it's like fire or whatever, something like that. So... I go to YouTube, and he told me I got Holly Berry, and I never even heard of this movie before. He told me it just came out recently, probably like a couple months ago. Oh, yeah, some months ago. So when I when I look it up, look what I said, y'all. So this is what I end up seeing. Moonfall. You see how the, the big old moon is like falling down into the earth? 
right? So this is the this is the movie. I ain't never seen it, never even heard of it before in my life. Crazy. So instantly I'm like, okay, that's the Lord. <laughs> he wanted me to share it. Cause at first I was I was confused. Like I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna share the dream. But when I'm watching a video that he talking about something that's doing with politics and the railroad stuff, he randomly said something about the moon falling. I'm thinking brought brought me right back to my dream how the moon was engulfed in flames and it was falling. Right? Now the Lord is basically trying to tell me that something is coming, right? I don't know exactly what, but something bad is about to happen in the United States. America is under judgment. Now, I know I do know in the Bible it talks about Wormwood, which is a um, fiery mountain that's going to fall. Like It's like a asteroid, basically, but it's like as big as a mountain, and it's going to fall into the earth. I don't think the dream was about that, you know what I'm saying? Because I think that's like in the tribulation period. But I do believe this dream was a warning to something that's about to happen here in the United States and probably across the world. What do I think it is? I really don't know, but we are in the, sep the month of September, and usually in the month of September, there's financial collapse. We're also in the Shemitah year, which I already talked about that in another video, but every seven years, um, it's a seven-year cycle, and usually some crazy things happen. We're at the end of the seven-year cycle this month, and that's usually when the collapse of markets happened in 2008, uh, September, I think, 29th, a little 29. The market crashed in 2008, one of the biggest market crashes. This year, we're in the same Shemitah cycle, and it could mean collapse, you know what I'm saying, of the markets. I don't know for sure, but, and also, um, it's just a lot going on out here, y'all. Like, the, uh, like I told y'all, Biden um in december he's trying to roll out a digital currency i don't know if he's going to get rid of the dollar completely but i know it's going to coincide with the dollar until the dollar is removed then we'll be straight digital uh it's just a lot of stuff going on y'all so this dream is a warning to prepare your hearts for what's coming you know say it could be jesus return who knows i don't know for sure so i can't say but i will say this god is warning his people a million times over to prepare your hearts for what is coming so you need to repent. This is a repentance video, right? Repent of all your sins daily, y'all. Daily. Daily. You don't know when you're going to die. You don't know when the Lord is coming back. So you need to be repenting because we're in the end of Revelations. We're literally at, in, at the Bible. We're literally inside the Bible, literally living through Revelations right now. So I need y'all to prepare your hearts because I told y'all, September will set the tone for the rest of the year. Between September and October is going to set the tone for the rest of the year. Usually a lot of events, a lot of craziness happens this month. So I do want y'all to prepare your hearts. Um, if you look up, um, let me show y'all. So if you look up Blood Moon Dream, so many people be having dreams about Blood Moon, Super Blood Moons, all kinds of moon dreams, right? And this is, I'm going to go to like... Um, I'm going to go to this month. You'll just see all type of moon dreams. Blood red moon dream. Blood moon prophecy dream. Like, it's so many dreams about this stuff. And I told y'all the scripture that talks about, um, it's one scripture to say the sun will be darkened and the moon will turn into blood before the great terrible day of the Lord. And it's another scripture that just talks about, um, you know, young men dreaming dreams, old men, daughters, sons and daughters prophesying in the end times. And so you will be getting dreams. You will be, you know, getting those type of warnings from the Lord when it's time to get them. And you will remember them. So it's important that you write those things down and that you share it. If you've been having dreams, because I know a lot of y'all have, if you've been having dreams, tell somebody, share it. You know what I'm saying? Because all, it's going to come to pass, bro. It's going to come to pass. Uh, a lot of them are symbolic for other things that could be potentially happening. But we're entering into some very dark times on this earth. And the Lord is trying to prepare his people. So I want y'all to be repenting. I want y'all to seek Jesus. If you don't believe in Jesus, I pray that you do. I pray that you accept him into your heart as your Lord and Savior because he's the only way to get to heaven. You will not get to heaven without him. Um, he says, nobody comes to the Father but by through me. So if you don't go through Jesus, you will not make it to heaven. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I ain't here to debate with people, man. I'm just here to do what I know the Lord wants me to do, and that's to warn his people, his sheep that things are about to transpire on this earth at a rapid pace. You know what I'm saying? So get your hearts prepared. If you need to stack up some food, 
um, do that, you know, because times times is about to get ugly, straight like that. And this ain't to fear monger or scare people, but it's to get your hearts right with the Lord because he about to do some things on this earth and y'all need to be ready and prepared, all right? So I love y'all, uh, Lord willing, I'll be able to see y'all another video. Let me look at my notes right quick, make sure I don't got nothing else to say to y'all. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it, man. So Lord willing, I'll see y'all another video. Cause I originally wanted to make the videos about the Forex um, funded, showing you how to pass the um, Forex funded challenge. That those videos are coming, but it was just urgency to get this video out. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this video. Um, but I love y'all, and I'll see y'all another video. Peace. God's timing is perfect. Patience has a purpose. Waiting for it's worth it. Right on time when we lay to the.